Hello, welcome to September Dice Prize Unboxing, where I share the prizes that I win in competitions. Uh, Rylan's back briefly for this month to help me with this prize, um, which, uh, well, yeah, it's quite big and I think it should be quite interesting. Uh, might take us a while to get through the bubble wrap though, so we'll make a start. Um, right, where's it taped? Shall I just cut through here? Hope for the best. I had a message from them saying that they were sorry with the delay of getting this to me, but their bubble wrap order didn't arrive. So obviously been waiting for loads of bubble wrap to arrive. So, oh, it's like past the parcel up. Layer one. Sure. I think it might be a phone. A phone? I think so, yeah. Another phone. Well, yeah. Oh, it's like a random phone. Well, it's a TCL phone. Have you heard of them, TCL? Nope. I think they're Chinese. The Chinese? I don't know what it stands for. Yeah. It's uh, Android. Should I carry on with this one while you unwrap that one? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> You'll notice we're in the lounge. Do you like the nice wall? This is what we painted earlier this year when we were redecorating. Everything used to be white in our house. Oh. <laughs> right, this one I think is upside down. So let's flip it. Do you want these back? Yeah. Okay. We've <laughs> not had a prize that's taken quite this long to get into for a while, have we? Oh, finally. Ah, okay. So, it's a, what is it? A TCL? What, you're going to have a look at it? Do you think oh, we'll keep this one? I'm just thinking okay, because it, no. well, no, I don't know. It might be worth having a look, Probably do you think? Yeah. I don't know much about TCL phones. So um, anyway, um, it's a TCL handset, TCL 40 R5G, which I'm going to investigate because I wasn't quite sure um, what model I was going to get. Now, you might remember that on my um, bingo card for what I wanted to win this year was an Android phone because it really helps me um, do my tutorials. Um, sorry, it's noisy, isn't it? But anyway, it helps me do my tutorials because obviously I use an Apple and it's good to see what things look like on an Android. Um, and I have been using a TCL, an older model that Kazi kindly sent to me. Um, and it is quite a nice phone and the battery lasts for ages. So I'm going to look into this one because it might be that I kind of replace that one with this one. Or this could be maybe a good gift for a family member. So cool. There is that ticked off my wish list, Android phone. And... So that's part of the prize, and this is the rest of the prize, which we're nearly there, look. Here we go, right? I'm just going to hope it's not damaged, but all this effort I've done to. Okay, so. <laughs> right. Well, oh. <laughs> so it's a signed shirt, but it's a black shirt, which obviously is really difficult to sign, isn't it? So, oh, right, you pull the bubble wrap off. Ah. Oh, grab it. <laughs> and it's got protective sticky on as well. If we take that off, we might be able to see what's going on. That's better, isn't it? There we go, grab that. Right, okay, so. These are TCL's brand ambassadors that have signed this, uh, which I can't see because of the reflection, but they're in silver pen. Now, I told you who these were, Rye. Um, and it, who was going to say on the back? It was <laughs> oh, Foden. Phil Foden. Rodrigo. And Rodri oh, there we go, Rodrigo. 
Is that Rodrigo? Probably. Uh, mm, number eight. Is number eight? That must be Phil Foden, do you think? What's that? Um, no, Pedri. That's, that's Foden, isn't it? Pedri. P Foden. Pedri. Is he number eight? Yeah, I think Rodrigo, so. Foden, Pedri. There's another Brazilian. There's one, yeah. No, there's one Brazilian, two Spaniards. Two Spaniards? Yeah. Who, who is it? Who is it? I'm going to have to check on Instagram, aren't I? So, yes, so uh, this is the shirt signed by, uh, yeah, four football players, basically. So, um, we're going to have to find somewhere in our home for this with our other signed shirts. Uh, I can't check my phone because it's filming, of course. Okay, so, this was a competition on Instagram and um, you just have to comment with your favourite goal from one of the four players. Um, I'm no expert on the others, but I do like Phil Foden. Um, and I said that his goal against Brentford uh, last year was one of my favourites, which was uh, a lovely volley. So I just commented about that. So I um, was chosen as the random winner. So I'm really pleased with that. And of course, the handset as well. Um, and then hopefully this can either go in Rise new room or in his bedroom or somewhere useful like that, I reckon. Um, just wondered if you've got a nice reflection there of my washing out in the garden. <laughs> I think that's just a, the people who framed it on the back, isn't it? Yeah. Because sometimes if you get a shirt from like um, Arsenal, they actually give you an authenticity certificate but because it's not a team. It's just quite random. Um, you don't get that. But uh, I think we might need to like probably just add little like photos of them on the frame or something like that. Um, yeah, cool. Right. I, th do you want to open this one? It's the usual prize. Just. What to do that one? What do you think it is? Ah. Can, you, can, you guess? can you guess what it might be? I don't know what that's going to look like either, but one for the collection, right? Like the old days when we used to get one every week. Mm, cool. Yeah, that's it. Pedri Rodrigo. Unusual colour. Ah, oh, it's a Heineken classic. Congratulations. Thanks for entering Heineken. 150 years. You've got, is it UCL branded? It's just Heineken, isn't it? It's literally just Heineken. Yeah, last time we won with Heineken, I'm sure we got a proper Champions League one. No, it's just Heineken. That's, ju that's just one that you can uh, kick about and lose into next door's garden then. Nothing too exciting. Always useful though, isn't it? Lovely. Brilliant. Well, thank you for that, Ryland, for assisting. And um, and maybe when I come back, I'll remember who that other football player is to mention. See you soon. Hello again. I've just taken the boys to a football match. So I'm back again with the rest of the unboxing. And the player was Varane. He plays for Man United. And uh, Ryland told me off because he's French, not Spanish. So there you go. Anyway, what have we got here? Um, oh, we've got this now. Uh, this is a bit makeshift. Um, I came back from, I spent the first week of September on Holes in Wales visiting my parents, celebrating my mum's 80th birthday. Um, and when I got home, there was a Royal Mail card through the door that said, um, left parcel in safe place. And I'm thinking, oh, what's that then? Uh, and I found it. I found it tucked, tucked away. <laughs> under a bit of decking in front of my house. Um, it was a brown cardboard box, it was soaking wet and it had slugs all over it eating the cardboard. <laughs> so that was really nice. So of course I, I thought, well, I better have got my gardening gloves and I peeled off all the wet cardboard and uh, took the products out, some of which were also a bit soggy. And I've repackaged them in here so I can unbox it for you without having to show you a slug infested cardboard box. Uh, but I wasn't very impressed with my postman for doing that, particularly as I did speak to him on the ring doorbell and said, please, can you leave it with a neighbour? We're not here. But anyway, so here's my fake unboxing package. And this is um, this is a parcel that actually came from Look Fantastic. Uh, so I didn't... I've got products in here, but I actually the prize was actually a £50 Look Fantastic voucher. And it was won in a competition at Las Iguanas um, if you bought a Malibu cocktail. And this competition was actually in Compass News magazine. Um, I think that was the only place I saw it listed and there were loads of prizes. So uh, thank you to Compass News for listing that one. 
and um, yeah, I want a £50 pound voucher and I'm going to show you what I bought with my voucher. So, first thing that I bought, and you'll probably laugh when you see this because it's skincare and if you watch a lot of my videos you know I've worn tons of skincare this year. Um, but this is Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser and this is what I've used for um, 15 years. Uh, it's the only cleanser that I really like. So I have worn a couple of cleansers this year, which I do use, but this one is really gentle on my skin. Um, so whenever, if I win vouchers for any kind of John Lewis and things like that, quite often I'll treat myself to um, just a new bottle of cleanser. Uh, also, this was another prize that was on my prize wish list this year, was there, but there, Dermalogica Skincare. So I've worn a lot of other skincare as well, but specifically Dermalogica. So I'm counting that as ticking that off my wish list. Um, another thing I bought was um, Garnier, which is, um, this is just gentle eye makeup remover as well. So um, I've got quite sensitive eyes and if I scrub too hard with a cleanser on my eyes, it's horrible. Um, so I use a bit of this to take off my makeup and mascara, which brings me to this, which is my favorite mascara. And the story behind Maybelline, Maybelline Sky High Mascara is that I won a trip to New York. I wrote a slogan about this mascara. I think it was either the late nineties or the early noughties. So over 20 years ago now, and I won an amazing trip to New York. Um, and I think it was, um, my Maybelline lashes will look divine towering, towering over Manhattan skyline or something like that. Um, and you know what? I've used this mascara ever since. So I have one other mascaras. None of them are as good as Maybelline. So, um, this is the one I always go back to every time. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new one of those. Uh, and then finally with the rest of the money, <laughs> I bought two of these because they were only four pound on Look Fantastic, and they cost over a tenner in Boots or in Waitrose, um, and they're great because it's the spray you use to touch up your grey roots, um, so I don't get my hair dyed that often, um, and this is just really handy. Spray that on. Nobody knows I'm really old, <laughs> so that's what I spent my fifty pound Look Fantastic voucher on anyway, and I'm glad the slugs didn't eat it all before I got to it. Um, Another prize I want to tell you about is this one, uh, which is Coca-Cola Music Venue Trust. Um, I think a lot of people would have won this one. You had to buy Coke at the co-op uh, and they were giving away tickets to loads of gigs all over the UK. And the uh, it is by Casey Lowry, who I don't know, uh, is a solo artist. Um, and yeah, the whole Music Venue Trust tour is Casey Lowry. So if you want tickets to these gigs, that's who you'll be going to see. And you just have to choose the venue you want tickets for. And I chose Patterns in Brighton, uh, which I think is in October. Um, so I'll let you know how that goes. But yeah, there were loads of different venues to choose from. You know, pretty good chance of winning. I don't know if anyone didn't win on this promotion. Um, I actually went to a Music Venue Trust gig last year with Charlie XCX as well and it was really good fun so looking forward to it and Patterns is a good venue too. Um, I won with win with bud competition where you need to buy Budweiser and scan your bottle. Um, I bought mine at Morrison's and I won a £90 Morrison's gift card which I spent yesterday. Um, so thank you to bud for that. That was one where um, you scan your bottle but you could keep on entering. So you buy once, keep scanning, uh, and then hopefully eventually you'll get a lucky instant win message and I did in the end so I was really pleased with that prize too um, okay we've got another box here um, so this is from a brand called a disruptor London and I'm not quite sure what this prize is gonna be um, I haven't brought my special tool down and the scissors have disappeared now but let's see what it is so for this competition um, I saw it promoted on my feed and they had a special filter on Instagram um, so what you did is you went to their, I think their reels and you could use the special filter um, which basically gave you bubbles all over your face and then you had to add it either to, I think you added it to your Instagram story rather than create a new reel and then if you did that and hashtag and tagged them you got entered into a prize draw so I did that and loads of people laughed at it because it looked really silly it was probably like just like me pulling faces and like this filter of loads of bubbles over me uh, but you know me I like a laugh so they chose me as the winner so thank you congratulations we hope you enjoy your product 
Uh, your trust and support means everything to us. Every bar you purchase contributes to an e ecosystem of impact through our 1% for the Planet partnership. Best wishes, Sira and Juan, the founders of Disruptor. So, oh, it smells amazing. It smells minty. Okay. Mmm, this is exciting because I'm not quite sure what to expect. I know they make um, you know, sustainable sort of cleaning bars and things like that. So, I've got a little little pot to keep it in. That's nice. Ah. So, it's kind of got a little holes at the bottom. So, I guess that if you keep it in there and it's wet, it will dry out. And then we've got, oh great, so we've got a little scrubby scrubby mitten. Nice, or is that to keep your thing in? Who knows? Anyway, it's very nice and scratchy. And we've got four products here, so five, sorry. So those, let's start with the little one. So we've got balance, conditioning, shampoo and shave bar with sea buckthorn, ginger and lime. Uh, oh, another one of those as well. And then we've got, oops. So we've got conditioning, shampoo and shave bar. This one's sh charcoal, tamanu and akai. <gasps> what are all these things? And then this one is calm, shampoo and shave bar with hemp, castor oil, hibiscus. And then this one is flake free with nettle leaf, neem and rosemary. Now, when I used to be a graphic designer, I worked for a company called Dry Dusher and they use neem oil in a lot of things. That was Ayurvedic. So it's meant to be very good for your skin. And I'll just show you what they look like as well. So this is what the bars look like. And then you just obviously lather them up in the shower and use them as shampoo. And really nice. That's lovely. So, and then that's a really cute little design as well to pop it in in the shower. So I look forward to trying those out. They look really good actually. Zero plastic waste, vegan. So thank you very much to Disruptor for those. I look forward to trying them out. I'm trying all these new brands this year. I've won so much stuff from new brands, it's brilliant. Um, again, just a, a tip with obviously that the couple of Instagram competitions I've won. I'm getting loads of competitions on my feed and things popping up from brands that I've never seen before or uh, interacted with. And I think the more competitions you do, obviously the more things like that you're gonna see. So um, yeah, keep at it with Instagram. Even if you're losing faith, um, keep going with it. Maybe set up a second account. If you're following too many, if you're following your seven and a half thousand, set up a second account and start using that for certain themed products. I'm doing a lot of my food and drink entries on a second account now. Uh, which reminds me actually I've just um, I've had a win for a local pub 15 pound to spend I've got a bar tab at the Argyle Arms in Brighton um, and again this was one that just randomly popped up on my feed I was quite surprised I didn't follow them because I follow loads of Brighton pubs uh, but that popped up and you just had to uh, share the post tag a friend and my tagged friend Natalie also has won a £15 bar tab so that's a night out for us. Must thank her actually because she took me to Drag in the Park show at the, the Open Air Theatre last Saturday and we had a right laugh. She had a spare ticket for that which um, she'd won in the competition. We had a really fun night out so it'd be good to kind of get on another night out to the Argyle Arms next time with her. Thanks Nat. Um, and I think, let me just double check my list blah 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 one more thing to tell you about which is um i won 10 pound to spend at seoul plaza uh, which uh, i think there's a few different it's korean food shops in london and they they were just on instagram and of course i enter loads of korean things so that just popped up on my feed and um yeah just had to i think you just had to comment tag a friend on that one so i've got 10 pound they've sent me a qr code which i can use in i think they've got a soho store which i'll hopefully go to next time i'm up in london and one last win to tell you about which i had today which was just i, I saw um there was a tweet for brighton seo uh, which i've been to the last couple of years it's a really good sort of digital conference in brighton even though a lot of the information they share is completely over my head i'm no expert on seo i do find it quite inspiring and there's always loads of really good giveaways and um freebies there so i saw a company tweeting about it today and of course i've forgotten what the name of the company was 
Um, but they said, yeah, two people to reply to this will give you a free two-day ticket worth £390 and nobody had replied and it was closing today. So I thought, right, I'm going to reply and then hopefully I'll get a chance to pop in on Friday when I'm in town. So really pleased with these wins so far. We're obviously not quite halfway through the month yet, but I've been really, really pleased with what I've been winning so far. And two more prizes ticked off the wish list. Maybe it'll be a car next, who knows. So I will be back with you soon, hopefully with more wins. Hello again and welcome to a cosy unboxing on the rug in Ryland's Snug. And uh, it's because I'm unboxing something that's rather big, so I'm having to keep it down here because look, it's a telly. Isn't that exciting? So it's a Sony Bravia 50 inch um, TV, which is great. So this is from a competition. It's a Tesco text to win. I've not won one of those since the start of the year. Uh, it was with Popworks, so you had to buy any Popworks product at Tesco, and there was a choice of three prizes, so you had to um, text one of three different keywords depending on the flavour you bought, and I opted for the TV prize. Um, now, originally, my idea was that this was going to be an upgrade for my mum and dad's TV down in Wales. However, <laughs> my dad has decided that no, he can't deal with any new technology and it would just be too much hassle to learn how to use a new TV and remote control. Um, so he said, no, don't want it in my house, <laughs> bless him. Um, so we're hoping that uh, Rob's gonna take it over to his mum's house and she's got she's got an old TV that we won years ago, but actually it's scratched and half the time the volume doesn't work very well. So he's gonna take this over to her house and see if he can fit it in. That is the main issue, is actually fitting a big TV into Pam's house. But fingers crossed that'll work and that she can enjoy a big screen TV, which would be nice. So um, thank you, Tesco and Potworks for that. Very exciting win. Um, two more wins here to tell you about. I think I know what this one is, it's soft and squishy. Yes. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Super cute. So this is from the Go Go Squeeze Unpack promotion. Um, I did I bring, I thought I brought the box down here as a little prop. Hold on. Aha. Gotcha. So yeah, this is from Go Go Squeeze. This unpack promotion is running until the 30th of November. Loads of winning moments. Um, the top prize is a family holiday uh, in Kent at the, um, I don't know how you say it actually, Port, is it Port Limpney? Port Limp something Safari Park. And there's loads of other prizes as well, which it doesn't actually seem to say on here, but there's loads of little Paddington prizes to be won. Um, you would need to upload a copy of your receipt, I think, for this one. Uh, and this is really soft and lovely. So this this will go probably to, um, well, it will go definitely to one of my great nieces. But which one? That's the question, isn't it? I used to have such a cute little Paddington toy when I was little as well. Oh, really cute. So yes, that's a nice prize. Does that count as toddler toys, do you think? Because I had toddler toys on my um, bingo card for this year and I haven't won any kids' toys yet. So I think I'll tick that one off. Uh, one more prize to open here. Um, you can see who it's from. It's from Bio and Me. Um, and this was a competition that I saw advertised on um, the Instagram. Hmm, how do I open it now? That way? No. Uh, yes, sorry. So it was on their Instagram and they said, we've got brand new packaging. Upload a selfie of you with the packaging on the shelves of your local supermarket and we'll choose 10 winners, I think it was, to win some goodies. Uh, and here they are. So it is it's very nice new packaging, actually. Um, so yeah, I just took a photo in my local Tesco, I think it was. And this is, I have... I have had this before, the granola, and it is really lovely. Um, so apple and cinnamon, granola, cashew and almond, granola, super berry, low sugar, and more berry burst, and finally, cocoa and hazelnut. So loads of different ones to try there, and looks like coupons as well brilliant so they've also sent five lots of pound off and 50p off 
um, their products. So they also make the yogurts as well. Same money off the yogurts and the granola. So that's a nice price. Thank you to Bio and me. I've actually, well, I've got a house full of cereal for Ryland at the moment. I've got loads of, um, I've obviously bought loads of Nestle for the Crayola competition, which I've yet to win, um, and loads of Weetabix as well. So it's good to have some cereal here for me and Rob too. You know? And that is it for the moment. So I will hopefully see you again before the end of the month. Bye. Hello there, it's the end of September. Um, I'm doing my editing and final recording of the unboxing a bit early this month because I'm actually off campaign for the weekend. So I certainly won't have any access to um, editing software or YouTube for a couple of days. So I've got a few things to tell you about. Nothing to unbox, I'm afraid. Just a few things that I've worn that I've been emailed. So um, the first one is a prize with the M&M's Big Night Wins. Big Night in Wins promotion, which is running this year, and you can enter every day. And I've had a five pound Rakuten movie voucher on that one. I think that's still running till November, so make sure you're doing that one daily. Um, another prize I've had is 50 pound cash from Britvic Spin to Win. Um, now this is a competition that one of my um, admins from Lucky Learners, Gyeonggi, found on a Google search. And we've been looking for it in stores for ages. It's supposed to be in smaller independent stores um, like Londis, and it's also meant to be in Booker, the wholesalers. And I've been uh, I've been in Booker. I've had the marketing team on the phone. They don't know anything about it. So um, I actually won on it. You have to buy a bottle of uh, Britvic. So it can be um, you know Seven Up, Tango. There are the other drinks that they do and scan the bottle and then you can spin the wheel find out instantly if you've won a cash prize so i won a 50 pound prize but it did take them a month to pay me so i was slightly concerned that this promotion wasn't actually live but apparently it is live people are winning people are getting paid the cash prizes it's still got a few days to run i think it maybe finishes early october so if you haven't entered yet give it a go i think it's 10 entries max per person on that one so that's a good one and um, also two things too that I've had that I've printed out. So the first one was a really good prize. It's a £250 a decathlon gift card and this was worn with Gillette Venus and Tesco. It's purchase necessary by any Venus product and the top prize was actually a football training session. Um, and you had to specify your football team. So I put Hope Park Colts, which is the club that I helped to run here in Brighton. Um, we didn't win the top prize. We just got one of the runners up prizes of 250 pounds. So uh, we'll be using that to get some equipment uh, for our football team, for Ryland's team. And also I'm hoping that maybe I can use a bit of it to get some running gear for myself, which was on my wish list for this year as well, because Decathlon do some good running clothes. So I'll see what I can get. Um, and the final prize that I won was with um, a great place called Pod Massage. Now, I won a prize with them when they first opened. Um, they're relatively new, they're in Brighton, and I won a 20 minute massage with them. And this was an Instagram competition. Um, and obviously I kept following them, it was brilliant. I went for it last month, I think. And at first I thought, oh, it's just a regular massage with a human, but actually they're massage chairs, they're brilliant. So you go in, you can choose the music or the sound track you want, and you use, you can choose the strength of the massage and the style of massage and which part of your body it is, because you get into this chair and it's like your whole body is just like squished in there, it's brilliant. Um, so I've won a six, a pod six package, which is valid for 12 months and it includes six massages and I can um, take Rob as well or share them with friends. So that's a really nice prize. I'm looking forward to going back there again. And um, that was just an Instagram uh, like, comment and share to your story competition. So I know a lot of people are having problems on Instagram at the moment. They are handing out bans. I've actually had my first ever Instagram ban in the last week. Um, they, so they are really clamping down if you're doing too many comments at once, liking too many accounts. So you need to take it really slowly, pop on, do something for a couple of minutes, go somewhere else and come back later rather than doing a full on session of loads of comps at one go. So um, I'm hoping that this is just a temporary thing and that they're just having a, a, a small clamp down uh, and that we'll be back to normal soon because it is a bit of a pain for a lot of compers getting the ban. So um, yeah, not great, is it? But anyway, I'm still kind of enjoying my comping on Instagram. I'm just not doing it maybe as much as I would usually be doing. 
Um, anyway, have a great October. Um, do come and tell me about your monthly wins as well and the regular post in Lucky Learners and of course in Bootcamp where we can also share goals for the next month. We've got three months left of the year to hit all those prizes on our wish lists. So good luck with that and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.